change is inevitable, inescapable. Especially in this city where the skyline changes as quickly as fashion trends. New York finds itself in a constant state of rebirth. It's a city of reinvention. architecture at the University of Michigan and got his master's from Rice. After school, he landed an internship at a small architecture firm in Berlin. Eventually, that led to a full-time job in New York when the firm, Studio Liebeskin, won the bid for the New World Trade Center. He would spend 14 years building his portfolio before he chucked it all to follow another one of his passions. Bond is a Roman mythical being. He's a hedonistic, pleasure-seeking, wine-drinking, music-loving, beastly little character who looks actually kind of innocent. That seemed to embody a lot of, I think, the personalities of Chef, myself, uh, and our concept of the menu. We wanted it to be somewhat mischievous and playful. a seasonal market-driven restaurant where dishes are constantly changing. The menu is arranged in a fairly typical Italian fashion where pastas are served as a mid-course, but it's the unique combination of flavors that really get to the heart of what Chef Brian Leth and his team are after. As you make your way through a meal, you start to see some of that wit and playfulness on display. Chicken liver mousse is served with a side of the crispy chicken skin. Borshank gets a chunk of fresh honeycomb, while Spanish mackerel is balanced by orange jam and guanciale. as an architect it helps transform this this avenue into something vibrant that's what it's all about in New York City one little gem adds another 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 and all of a sudden you've got an avenue that's full at first coming in I'm still working my job in the studio that I was working for I'm working days there 
I'm working evenings trying to really finalize the design. I have a buddy of mine that's coming in and helping me tear down the, the bar so we can rebuild it, uh, do whatever we can, being ready to really start getting the chef on board. Of course, once the chef came on board, he told me all the stuff we did wrong that needed to be reworked. We reworked some things. Now he's part of the design, part of the logic of how this place works. I think when you're going out to eat, you should be experiencing something a little more special, a little more unique, a little more catered to the experience. Bellies has been on there for quite some time, it's pretty popular. And that is a pretty good example of a cocktail that's equal parts booze, sour, citrus, sweetness from an aperitif, and then bitter from a DJ Steve. I think the important thing is when every bar has a cocktail program to do something that's unique and elevated. The thing that I found surprisingly easy, or at least easier than I thought it would be, was putting together a successful menu of dishes that people received well. Because that was the part that came together very quickly. And I give all the credit to uh, Chef Brian, to Chef Jordan, and all of their, their cooks. They organized the kitchen so quickly that could put out dishes that were so tight and so good. We That's one criticism that is rarely leveled on us, that, oh, the food just didn't taste that good. That never happens. How do you make sure every single player at every level the whole time is on board, upholding the vision, loving the idea, and willing to go the extra mile every single night to uphold that vision? That's, that's the challenge to me. I've had to learn how to become a leader in a way that I've never knew before. I'm still learning. I'm still kind of bad at it. I've had to learn to let other people, people who know more about this industry than I do, which is most people. Uh, I've had to let them tell me what, you know, what's going on. things I've learned recently over time is not to worry too much about money. I think people worry about money a lot and it dictates their decisions and it would prevent a lot of people from doing something like If we're always changing why should we be afraid of it? Why should we hide from it? Maybe we should think of it less as change and more as a constant evolution. As if we're always in a state of becoming. <laughs>